in this video we will calculate the edges of the student now for example if we have a three edge three students age age one age two age three so here we initialize int sum equal to zero we initialize sum equal to zero and uh, C out is just a user prompt please enter a student age C in age one then age two age three and here we we just calculate uh, <coughs> all the edges sum equal to age one plus age two age three okay press F9 now for example five plus two or whatever it is just example now I get total fifteen eight plus two ten plus five fifteen but it's easy because this was only a three students for example if there is a hundred student so it will be very difficult to write their age 3 again age 4 age 5 age 6 up to 100 and again for the sum we have to you know have to add all of them uh, up to age 100 and these all user prompt so is it a way to to make it easier than uh, you know it's just a user friendly so for this one look at this code now it's uh, compared to this and this so it's just a few lines now here what do we do we declare a an array is int age 3 it's just a uh, array, array 3 array it's just you can store here 3 students age even you can make it 10 or 20 or 100 it's, it's just a very easy and the next line says int sum equal to 0 it's like uh, we again we declare a variable sum and we initialize with zero now there is a for loop for int i uh, here i declare a local variable i so these are the global variable and this is a local variable int i and initialize equal to zero i less than three i plus plus and uh, here is I give a user prompt please enter the student edges and uh, I store the edge in a see this is the way how you declare how you put the data in the array now cn age that is the array name and uh, the in bracket i i mean this counter so now i less than 3 it will check this loop will check that uh, what is the i number if it's the i is less than 3 it will continuously add in 1 and uh, here is the sum equal to sum plus age of i see out total sum is uh, ok now if i just run f9 here will be again the same thing 12 18 and 20 ok here i get 50 18 and 12 is a 30 plus 20 50 ok it's and you will see now it's very easy to, to modify this code if you put there 5 and in, in there just say less than 5 f9 run this code again you will see 12 18 20 and 10 and uh, 20 now you see only by changing this number now it's a now you declare an array 5 and make it there less than 5 and now you have 5 time entry you can put the 5 students dead this this code is much easier to compare to this other one because here if you have to declare a if you want to add more students then you have to put their age 4 age 5 and uh, even you have to copy these all down you make it you, you will give him 5 user prompt to enter a 5 different ages again you have to add there the code 
so actually therefore we use array and the for loop so it's very important to use them